Welcome back to FTL. This is going to be a playthrough using the rock ship. This will be my fourth, count them, fourth try with this particular ship. I just keep getting killed with it. Um, I've never had this much trouble with this particular ship before, but uh, for whatever reason, I keep dying. So let's give it another shot. Uh, rock ship comes with three rock crew members and nothing but missile launchers to start out with, which is a huge pain in the ass because you will rapidly run out of ammunition, and if you don't find some other weapons early on, you can very quickly end up in severe trouble. Um, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and that won't be an issue this time. <laughs> trying to jump away. We will try to prevent that. Success. And let's check out the store. Uh, nothing particular that I want here. Um, I'd have to sell something to get a, true, a crew teleporter. I'm actually tempted. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I'm going to sell the rock playing, buy a crew teleporter, and from now on, fuck it, we're pirates. Upgrade my door system because I'm tired of dealing with borders. It's an empty sector. Let's see what this distress signal is. Beam them aboard our ship. Excellent, we get a free crew member. That is very good news. Since we're doing a teleporter build, we need all the crew we can get. Nearby sun, automated ship, figures. took out the ship, and we will jump out of here as soon as I can. There's another store. Good news. Let's collect some scrap first, though. Here we've got a pirate. Looks like they're going to send borders on. Uh, a single mantis I'm not particularly worried about. I do want to disable their weapons if I can. <laughs> They're trying to get away already. Yeah, that's cute. That's not going to happen. Alright, they've teleported aboard their ship to try and repair it. I'm going to see if I can take them out before they can get away. Now that my guys are healed up, I can send them over. And that'll take care of their crew. Got some nice scrap out of that fight. Took quite a bit more damage than I would have liked, but... It's better than nothing. Got a fire in my sensor room. Got to take care of that. I'm 
as soon as my sensors are back online, we will jump away. There we go. Come across a rebel ship. These guys have a med bay, so I'm going to have to make taking that out a priority. defense drone. Wonderful. Well, at least they're not jumping away anytime soon. Uh, if worse comes to worse, I can teleport my rockmen back on board and just scrap their ship. I can afford to fire one more missile at these guys without destroying the ship. Yeah, I'm not going to win that fight, so I'm going to have to bring my guys back on board and then just take them out. I'm doing okay on ammo so far, so that's not a total loss. And at least we got some scrap out of the deal. And now it is time to visit that store. Alright, uh, this is not ideal, but it's certainly doable to get... A free uh, Mantis crewman. We can fix up my ship, buy some fuel, and that is all I need to do for now. The nice part is now I have a slightly more capable boarding party, and I can repurpose one of my rockmen to run some other sh system on the ship. Now it's just a race to the exit beacon before the Rebel fleet gets there. That's an empty sector, so it looks like we made it out in one piece. Very good. Let's move on. I have to go to the Zoltan sector just because it's safer, but dealing with Zoltan shields is going to be a pain when I only have missile weapons. Here we could buy some fuel for some scrap. Um, only got 15 scrap. I might as well. Now I don't have to worry about fuel for a while. Of course, there's a store right here. Murphy's Law. Uh, it doesn't have any weapons or anything, so it's not really that much of a loss. And, yep, here we find a Zoltan ship. Uh, they said borders on, which is kind of cute. because my crew will be able to cut through theirs pretty quickly. I'm going to have to spend way more ammo than I normally like taking down their shields, but... I've got to keep an eye on my Mantis's health. I don't want him to get too low. Yeah, he got too low there, so... Spend one more missile just to see if I can disable their weapons while my guys heal up. Alright. Good. And now while they heal... I'll be able to send them over and exact some revenge. Yeah, when you've got a boarding focus build like this, the Zoltan sectors are great because Zoltan crew are real easy to take out. And there we go. There's a distress beacon and another store down there, so I definitely want to see if I can scrape together some more scrap before we visit it. Here we come across another Zoltan ship. 
This time, uh, we are actually being asked specifically to take this one without destroying it, which I think we can manage, as long as I can get that, that shield down in time. Our, our single level of shield protection is really hurting us at this point, but I don't have a lot of choice in the matter at the moment. Now I can send over my boarding party. And their last crew member is a Zoltan, so this is taken care of. All right. Get some scrap and a free FTL jammer. Uh, FTL jammers make enemy ships take twice as long to charge up their drives and jump away, so it's not a game changer, but for this particular build it'll actually work pretty well, because uh, it'll give us more time to finish off uh, enemy crew. Alright, a couple more jumps and then we'll check out that store, which is good because I need repairs again. Another rebel ship. This one should be fairly simple to deal with. I am going to spend one missile on them just to see if I can keep them from doing too much damage to my ship while I deal with their crew. Uh, no such luck, but they missed too, so that's okay. Now I just have to make sure my Mantis doesn't get too low on health. He's getting a little low. Um... It's getting worryingly low. Let's see, alright, good. Problem solved. And we got another crew member out of it, and it's another Zoltan. That is pretty lucky, actually. They make excellent support crew because of their free energy generation ability. So I will be happy to have him on board. With that, I think it's time we jump to that store. Alright, um, this is a pretty good setup, actually. I'm going to buy that next Manus crew member. I'm going to buy as many of the missiles and fuel as I can afford. And now we have a dedicated all-Mantis boarding party, which is my favorite kind of boarding party. We've got a spare rock crew member who can work on fire protection and dealing with enemy borders of our own. And I am decently satisfied with this so far. Uh, I would love to get some more weapons, but that is luck of the draw. And so far we've been doing okay just with the missile launchers. In this case, I'm going to have to disable that med bay before I can send over my boarding party. that taken care of, I can send in my Mantis. Uh, spend another missile to see if I can keep them from hitting me as hard as they will be. Uh, once again, I am taking a beating, but I think I can win this fight. third crew member is a Zoltan. This shouldn't be too bad. Alright, just made it. Do some quick crew juggling here to make sure my Rockman doesn't keel over. In fact, I'm going to have to do some more crew member juggling to make sure that I don't lose this Zoltan I just got either. Okay, oxygen system is fixed. Now I can focus on getting everybody healthy.
distress beacon up there. I think I have time to visit three more beacons before I have to get to the exit. We're not going to interfere here because it's an asteroid field and I've only got one level of shielding. And this is dangerous enough without being in the middle of a fight. Alright, so we'll just jump out of there. Come across more bad guys. This will be very easily dealt with. And as much as I would love to buy more weapons, I have to upgrade my shields. It is really handicapping me right now. Another crew member. It's another rock man. I will certainly take that. And I at the very least have enough to upgrade my shields, if not power them. Actually, I can power them because I'm not really using my weapons very much. Looks like we will just make it to the exit in time. That is an automated scout which would be a problem, except that I actually have enough ammo to deal with this guy. There go his weapons. That one missed, so I'm going to target his engines. That one also missed. of reactor power just to get everything up and running, and let's go to the exit. More scrap and a free defense drone. I will take it. Let's go to the Engie sector. There's a store right there. Um, I think I can make one more jump and still make it back there before the Rebel fleet. Got a Mantis ship. I'm actually going to fire... No, I'm not going to fire any missiles at these guys. I need to save my ammo. I'm getting low. It's just going to be a Mantis on Mantis fight. Uh, that I might not win, actually. I'll just have to hope that my... Teleporter can cool down in time. So, what you'll see me doing here is kind of leading them on a merry chase while I wait for my teleporter to recharge. And then as soon as it's recharged, I'm going to bring these guys back on board my ship to heal. Which they just barely do. He was down to like four hit points, I think. These guys don't have a med bay, so they can't actually heal their crew. Which means, once my guys are healed up a bit, I can just send them back on to finish them off. finally get a free weapon, and it's my favorite weapon in the game. Alright. Things are looking up. I'm not going to say that I'm safe yet, because I had much better weapon layouts than this in those earlier games, and I died in those. So, but things just got better. And now we also have enough scrap to do something useful at that store, if I can get there before the Rebel Fleet does. Yep. Alright, I'd love to buy cloaking, but I can't afford it, so instead I'm just going to buy all of their supplies, sell the FTL jammer just to get a little bit more scrap, 
and I think we're good to go for now. Got a quest to deliver some drone parts. Happens to be nearby, so we can certainly accommodate that. Come across a forward scout of the Rebel Fleet. It looks like I may have sold my uh, FTL jammer a little prematurely, but that's okay. This guy should be fairly easy to deal with. In fact, if I can disable his engines, I can take care of him with my borders. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to see if I can hit his weapons with my burst laser and then maybe aim at his drone control as well. Just to uh, prevent him from doing too much damage to me. And it looks like one of my mantis has leveled up his combat skill, which is always good. And we've just got this one crew member left to deal with. Excellent. So it turns out that buying that crew teleporter early on when I was desperate was a very good decision. So I'm going to make one more jump and then check out the store. It's an empty sector. <laughs> There's another store right there. Okay. Let's see. Nothing I really want. I'm good on supplies. And that other store might actually have something useful in it. Hmm. Let's go ahead and buy drone control now. We got a defense drone, so that's good news. I will accept the paltry payment because I need scrap more than I need drone parts. And I think we'll have one more time to make a jump once we get to the exit. I just want the scrap. I don't want to pick a fight with that. No, nope, looks like we'll have to jump away. All right. So we leave Sector 3 in much better shape than we started out. Uh, things are still far from safe, though, so join me next time, hopefully, when we will continue to play this playthrough of FTL.